hey everybody, thanks for checking out another visual communication critique. This time I thought it'd be fun to take a look at a book cover design. And this is a book that uh, I was thinking about buying. I haven't bought it yet, so I don't have the physical book in front of me. So we're going to have to take a look at it here on Amazon. And let's take a look at this cover. And I just want to point out a few things that I thought were pretty interesting here. First thing you're going to notice is that it's a simple design simple book cover no images just the text on the page but the interesting thing about the text is the way that it is too big or it's being shown as being too big for the book cover now obviously the designer could have made this smaller and had it fit nice and neat on the book page but I believe the designer here is trying to show something about the subject matter. And if I had to guess, I would say that they're trying to show that the subject is so big and so vast that it can't be contained by this book cover. And I would suspect it can't even be contained by the pages within the book. When we're talking about religion and God, it's such a vast and complex subject that it, it's it's almost impossible to portray it and so that's what's being shown here is that the the subject is so impossible to show and and, and wrap our heads around that we're going to uh, portray that on the book cover and have the words go off the page to show that it can't be contained here I thought that was really just subtle thing here but it's a nice trick to keep in mind you can do this on posters a lot of times you'll see this where there's an image that's blown up so big that it's you only see a portion of it on the page you can do this in uh, business cards advertisements it's a nice little trick here and it shows that this the subject here uh, is powerful and big and important pretty cool but the other thing I noticed here pretty interesting I was looking at some of these other books and there's actually a different uh, cover here for the hard the hardback book the hardcover and so this design has something else that's pretty clever and it's the use of this image showing the two one-way signs uh, giving a conflicting message and it's a it's a it's a clever use of of something that people are familiar familiar with in their day-to-day -day lives as they're driving you know the one-way street <clears throat> but here we obviously get the message um, I like the way that the title of the book um, you know the, these the image and the title of the book work together really well <clears throat> and you can see the, the the tension that's created in the image and it tells you something about what you're going to experience as you read the book and that's what a good design does that's what a good book cover design does it shows you something about what you're going to experience what's the payoff going to be uh, why should you buy the book I think both of these covers do it pretty well um, I don't know I don't know let me know what you guys think let me know what, what your favorite favorite one is I guess I'd go with this one, um, but I like the simplicity of the paperback. I don't know. I can't decide. Let me know what your favorites are in the comments. Thanks for checking out the critique. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks again for checking out the video. If you'd like to see more critiques of visual communication like this, check out the playlist and subscribe to the channel so you get all the latest videos.